And hello to you. It's me, Ghost Critic, back again for the week. And another batch of goodies. Um, this comic book Wednesday slash Thursday. It is Thursday now. Read these yesterday. Three for you in this video. Um, and I'll do a few little extras at the end that I wanted to have a little chat about. But let's Get cracking with the comic books, and we start with Superboy number nine. Um, Jeff Lemire and Pierre Gallo doing such a good job on this title. Um, I've loved this whole Hollow Man, Hollowville kind of storyline, this secret underground community. I won't give away too much on this video. Um, but it's all very spooky, all very eerie, and it all has led to... It, it's like a bit of a, a wild goose chase, um, leading us all down false paths, um, people not being who they say they are. Uh, any more clues I can give you? Um, no, I won't. Read this. It's for, for a title that is going to be revamped, this has stayed true to the end. It hasn't, you know, dipped in its storytelling. Jeff Lemire wanted to tell a really good Superboy story, and he has. Um, I've never been a huge super family type comic book reader, but Superboy has dragged me in from the beginning. It's very rarely dipped in interest for me. I'm interested, sort of, to see what they're going to do with Superboy come the revamp. It all looks very different to what we have here. Maybe what happens here also leads into um, what we see come September. Great title. Love this issue. What I didn't love this week, and I have been a great fan of this title since its, uh, its inception, the, um, the relationship between Dick and Damien has been perfect from the beginning, the way they've grown with each other in their respective roles. But this was a stinker. Yes, it's Batman and Robin in its number 25. Uh, now, this is one of the DC titles where I think the writer, who have we got here, Judd Winnick and Greg Tuccini on the artwork, um, this is the kind of title I think the creative team have thought, well, why should I bother putting in all this effort? This kind of storyline isn't going to make it into the canon when it comes September. It's not one of those moments that they're, they're going to want to keep and you still keep that history of the character come the relaunch. So I'm just going to throw any old crap out. And they threw some crap out in this issue. I mean, I, I had to re... Not exactly reread it, but I had to go back and just check to see if I'd missed anything. Um, it was poor from start to finish. Um, unresolved storylines that you know we're never going to find out about. The artwork was horrendous. Um, I was not impressed with this at all. Um, hopefully, the, the last couple of issues... Um, with the new artist, and I think there is a new writer as well, um, we'll, we'll make up for it and give this title a chance to go out with a bang. But seriously, not worth it. And finally, for comic book reviews, we have X-Men, and it's number 14. Yes, it's number 14. First off, great cover. I don't know what it is about it, and it's not just because... Um, Emma Frost has all bountifully boobed and, and strapped down. There's just something about it. I think it's the simplicity of it. There's something about the whiteness of the cover. I don't know. It just really works for me. Anyway, inside, it's kind of business as usual. Um, we're in part four of this storyline, and I don't seem to be any the wiser to what the hell's going on. Um... Something definitely has happened now, and every mutant in the world knows. Only the reader doesn't. Um, it's pissed Magneto off big time. Um, and I just wonder if if this is leading to the whole X-Men schism and Wolverine and Cyclops um, veering off into their own X-teams. 
um, for what he may or may not have done in the past. Um, it's an okay story. As usual, it flips back and forth from the past until now. Um, and it's all very hectic, very random. Um, lots of fight scenes. It's interesting. It's, it's okay. All I want to know is what the hell is this secret? Will you please get on with it? That are my reviews. There is a pick of the week, but I'm doing another video for that because I think it really does deserve it and it's a surprise to me that I picked this. But anyway, going on to a few unrelated but still kind of comic book related things, I want to talk about advertisements in comics. I know they need them. This is how, you know, they can keep um, the prices down. They've got to get some ad revenue in some way. So I don't mind having the adverts in. Yes, it's a little annoying because it breaks the continuity of the comic, your comic book reading, but it's a necessity, so I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with is these horrible, horrible inserts they've got at the moment with these Subway famous fan comics in the middle. Oh, they are horrendous. They are so cheesy. And um, I mean, there's no subtlety about this being an advertisement at all. Uh, it just reminds me, they used to do this kind of thing back like in the late 80s and the early 90s, and they were awful then, and they're awful now. And while I haven't read it, I kind of skimmed through it, it still doesn't make me want to buy a Subway sandwich. They've just done this again with the heart, with um, that movie that came out. Um, was it Super 8? The, the Steven spielberg -y monster movie type thing. I've not seen it. I think it's called Super 8. They kept throwing that insert in there in every single DC title I kept picking up. And I guess by doing this, this is their way of keeping their price at 2 99 which, okay better that than 3 99 and not having it there at all. But it just, a little bit of subtlety in your advertisement, Subway. Oh, I don't know. I like Subway, but I don't need it forced down my throat. Funnily enough, another advertisement that seems to be doing the rounds, and it just kind of makes me kind of grin. Um, a pretty cynical grin at that, given, again, the DC relaunch coming in um, September. And these are these adverts for this retroactive. I don't know if you can see these. Basically, what DC are doing over July and August, they are bringing out uh, untold tales from, and it's from the 70s, from the 80s and the 90s, and they're concentrating on just kind of, well, basically their core group of heroes. Uh, we've got Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, and Justice League of America. They're all one shots, um, six different ones, one set in July and two sets in, in August. And what you get in them is a 26 page new story that I guess is based in the 1970s continuity. And then a followed by a classic tale from the era. So something you probably already read or well was out in that time that you may not have read. The cynic in me and the thing that makes me grin is this couldn't have been worsely timed. It really can't. We're talking about a company that is, I know people don't like to hear this, um, we don't know for sure, 100% uh, yet, but they're trashing basically anything that did happen in the 70s, 80s and 90s. Um, so I think this is, this is a bit, a little bit, insensitive I guess of DC uh, in some ways to um, the, the die-hard DC readers of old um, bringing these out now just as you're about to revamp your whole line um, to bring in new readers and the, you wanted these new readers to come in because of the heavy continuity and that it was so un um, 
and access accessible to to people just coming into the genre so i just thought that was quite amusing that they're really plugging these away in the titles as well um and that's pretty much oh wait i've got to show you this i uh, was in town today buying some presents for various people at work because there's some people leaving and i bought myself a present oh, i'm such a sucker for these kind of things it's a mug it's basically just a mug but i don't know if you can see that but it's got lots of i've got to be careful because there's a cup of tea in here um lots of different batman and detective comic covers around it and i just thought you know a little treat for myself um, i can't really afford it but hey ho um, excuse me just thought i'd show you that something a little bit different but that is me out don't forget after this video i'll be uploading my pick of the week and like i said oh i enjoyed it a lot and um, so i hope after you've watched this you'll wait for me to upload the next one and check that one out straight after um, as for now that's me out thank you very much for watching again don't forget to come back next week there'll be more there'll be more Take care.